I had no idea who they were. But this four minutes worth of music, I was like hooked. The queens of rock and roll, Fanny. Fanny is iconic, truly before their time. Men coveted rock and roll, that that was theirs. This is a girl with an instrument on. So, okay, this is a game changer. Fanny was the first all-woman rock band that could really play and really get some credibility within the musician community. So we broke through that barrier, and it wasn't through talking. We just fucking did it. There was so much pressure all the time. I mean, you have to remember how young we were and how scared we were, really. We're brown, and nobody knows where the Philippines is. And many times when I felt worthless and challenged. It was hard. Being gay was still a disease. You could not be a lesbian in Fanny. They're like my sisters. I've known them since I was 16. Ooh, baby, won't you give your love to me? Being in a rock band gave us a place to belong. We were all different together. You make me right. They made five records. You know, the Go-Go's get a lot of attention for what we did, and we only made three records. They didn't have that number one hit in the platinum records that the other bands had, but those other bands wouldn't have had those platinum records if they didn't open the door. It's always the ones that started they get fucked. Let's go back to where it all began. Seventeen, then we started a band. We have I had many lines in my face as Keith Richards. I don't, I don't know that we would have been offered a record deal. <laughs> Rocking is a metaphor. When you fail, you pick yourself back up again. They were considered badass, and they still are. My big joke with my friends now, maybe I'll be famous when I'm 80. <laughs>